Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to Yahweh and pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Back with another lesson. It's going to be a one and done <laughs> dealing with an article I came across. Uh, it says Pope apologizes after being quoted using vulgar term against gay men uh, and talk about ban on gay priests. <laughs> All right. So they had this dude uh, apologize because of a comment he, he made, man. Right. So, hey, we, we live in bizarre world. This whole pre uh, Catholic priest and Pope, all this shit is, is ass backwards. But even the book they claim that their religion is uh, founded upon condemns <laughs> condemns these priests from trying to be members and hold you know posts within the church. Just complete foolishness, man. And this world uh, looks at this. And accept it as though, hey, this is the way it should be, man. Hey, we truly live in a bizarre world, man. It says, uh, Pope Francis apologized Tuesday after he quoted using a vulgar uh, derogatory term, right, about uh, the LGBT man. It says the ruckus that ensued underscored how the church's official teaching about homosexuality often bumps up against the unacknowledged reality that there are plenty of gay men in priesthood and plenty of LGBTQ plus Catholics who want to be fully part of the life and sacraments of the church. I'm sorry. Just, just reading this is uh, hilarious, man. It's absolutely hilarious. And you got all these people that go sit up in these churches Right, especially these churches that you know to take on uh, the view that the Pope is the head, and you know the doctrine is handed down from him. Just utter foolishness, man. All right, that he's uh, <laughs> he's he's up there apologizing uh, because what he said is is the truth, right? As far as the aspect of. Uh, <laughs> Them type of people being a part of a congregation or being a part of a church, man. The scripture is going to be Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, and put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own eyes. And that's pretty much anybody outside that is outside this truth, man. All right, that uh, <laughs> that push this acceptance of everything that's evil, that's wicked, that's act that's against the, script, the scriptures, right? It's written in black and white. Uh, <laughs> who the Lord is dealing with and who the Lord isn't dealing with. So, hey, hey it's all there right in front of your faces, man. And uh, things like this just keep keep, keep you uh, reminded. Hey, this place is completely, well, actually, let me get that, it's upside down. This is uh, Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall a thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding, man. <laughs> uh, it's just, you know, this stuff is, uh, I don't know why I find stories like this so funny, man, because they're just so completely ridiculous. And the uh, masses, uh, you know, they, they eat this stuff up uh, hook, line, and sinker, man. Oh, yeah, the Pope, the Pope should apologize and let them be uh, <laughs> priests and bishops and elders in the church. It's just crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. But I just want to touch on this. Like I said, nothing, uh, nothing too long. But just want to uh, touch on this article. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Shalom the next time.